Hi Deb, Loza from the control room. We don't often talk like this, so maybe something like this will jog your memory. Hey Deb, I can't hear you. What did you just say? Hey JP, what did Deb just say? What was wrong with that headline? Where's the typo? Deb, you've literally had the best view of SBS World News every night Great, and how it's made. Great, Handling every technical crisis or developing news story with ease. Absorbing story after story and offering encouragement to our new presenters and some who have been around the traps for a while. The Socceroos looking to build momentum. All right, that's enough about the presenters. The truth is, producers like me are going to miss you more. For us who make so many typos, missing words, you're always willing to tell me when my titles don't make sense. And Deb, you also tell me on a, fri on a late news shift or what your favourite story is. Above all though, Deb, I'm going to miss your wicked sense of humour and that laughter that we've shared together. Happy retirement. Make sure it's a good show. You deserve it. Thanks very much. See you, Deb. Hi, Deb. It just seems like such a long time, 21 years plus that we worked together. And yet it seemed like such a short time, a blink of an eye. Uh, and I feel like uh, it's because we've had such a great time working together. You've always been sitting there in the corner of the studio, solid, dependable, alert, always up for a laugh. I've really appreciated that part of our association together. You know, I've worked with uh, AutoQ operators on three different continents. You're the best, simply the best, as Tina Turner would say. So wishing you nothing but the best as you reach into your new life, hanging out on a beautiful beach in the north of our state. Until we have a drink together, go well. Deb, I can't believe you're leaving me. Why would you want to move up to McMaster's Beach and miss out on focus chats, goals, saying how excellent we are, sharing cakes in the afternoon. Um, can't understand it at all. All the best to you, Christian and Honey. Have a great time. We miss you. Bye. Hi, Deb. It's Tom Owa. I'm sorry I can't be with you on your final day. We've had some great times in the studio together. Lots of laughs. And how fitting is it that you are leaving the Nut House at SBS on the same week as Peace Face is leaving the White House on the other side of the world. Have a great life. And uh, I just want to say thanks for everything you've done. You've saved me a lot of embarrassment in the studio, live on air, over many, many years. What, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years? Bye from me. And there's somebody else who wants to say goodbye to you as well. It's my little grandson, River. River, say goodbye. Bye, Deb. Bye, Deb. Hey Deb, fantastic working with you these past few years. You've saved my bacon millions of times, so we're gonna be lost without you. Can't wait to celebrate properly when we can and all the best with the next chapter. All the best. Hi Deb, we just wanted to film a little video for you and to say goodbye and good luck. I can't believe you're actually leaving, it's wild. Um, I remember you as when I was a little bambina, when I used to come in and when I used to visit all the news readers and when I was here on my holidays with dad. Um, and I remember you always with just such a lovely energy and such a big smile and always a really good, bright attitude. Um, and then when I came back as an adult, we got to work together you know, properly. Um, thank you for always being so kind. Thank you for loving the pantsuits and thank you for giving us your top fives and your top tens. I love it. Um, it's always been such good fun. We're gonna miss you. You are bloody good at what you do, but enjoy the time off. Enjoy never doing a late news ever again and have lots of cuddles and walks and swims with honey, um, but sending a big kiss and we'll miss you. Deb, thank you so much for being such a lovely human being every time I see you in these hollowed holes of SBS. Um, I will never forget how you took me under your wing and showed me how to do auto cue. And I swear that was the moment I knew how to do it when it, you taught me. So I <laughs> thank you. Um, I hope you have a lovely retirement. Yeah. Um, but we wish you all the best and hopefully we'll see you one day soon yeah. outside of these hollowed buildings. Yeah, we can holes. get a drink together. Sure. Cheers. Bye. 
Hey Deb, really, really sorry to see you go. Um, in the early days as a presenter, you know, it's hard being in that studio. Um, it's intimidating, it's kind of abstract. You're not quite sure if you're doing a good job or a bad job, but um, having a steady hand at the auto cue and, um, you know, a, a regular voice in there, it's, uh, it's a big factor and you were that person for me. Um, so thank you so much um, for being good for a chat and for being bloody good at your job and um, you're, you're irreplaceable. Hi Deb, I haven't known you for very long but I didn't need very long to know that you're a very special human and I'm so thankful that I was able to work with you. You're a really calming presence in a lonely studio and I really will miss your company in there and on our um, Friday night dinners. But I'm very, very happy that you're going on a well-deserved break. All the very best, enjoy it, enjoy the retirement and congratulations on such an incredible milestone. Hi. Hi Deb, I hear that you're leaving SBS, another person that's amazing is leaving our organisation. Um, I wish you all the best in life and whatever endeavours you have um, in your future. I am sadly going to miss walking into the studio when I'm getting beautiful Janice um, ready for news and saying to you, hi Deb, how's life? What have you been up to? Um, sweetheart, Wish you everything that's amazing in your future and I'm sorry to see you go. Take care. Bye. Okay. Hi Deb. Uh, quick selfie video which I'm not very used to making. Um, to say farewell, good luck. It's been an absolute joy working with you. I wish we'd have had more dinners together. Um, hopefully we can all catch up and have a reunion sometime in the future. But all the best of luck with your beautiful travels up north and your new home and lots and lots of love from me. Farewell. Take care. Bye. Hi Deb. Just a very quick note to say I will miss you after working with you very closely for more than 10 years. You've been more than just my auto cue professional. You've also been a finance producer at times and more importantly, a, a great friend. And thank you very much for saving me on air and uh, correcting me multiple times with examples uh, in Dict, uh, the Gulf of Carpentaria and Hong Kong. Uh, three of uh, quite a few mistakes that I've made on air. We'll miss you, Deb. Hi, Deb. I'm really, really gonna miss you. But I've got one last prize. This one's for you. Oh my god, my nipples are erect, that's how hard I am. Hey Deb, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so very hard for me. You were one of the first people to welcome me to SBS, so it's very difficult for me to be saying goodbye now. Over the years we have spent dinners together. I reckon I've had more dinners with you than I have with my own family, but I treasure those memories, all those green curries, the laughs we've had, the fact that you've been my confidant and mentor at times and a dear, dear friend. Deb, there is so much more I want to say, but you've been an absolute dream colleague. You've always had my back and you hold such a special, special dear place in my heart. I really hope that we get to work together again. I'm pinning all my hopes on that, Deb, so please come back. I love you.